Hey there viewers, looking to lose weight? What if I told you there was a way to reduce your weight as well as lower your risk of diabetes? It's true, there are ways you can shrink your waistline while better managing your blood glucose levels. In fact, both are closely related. In today's video, we'll be sharing 9 scientifically backed weight loss tips to lower your risk of diabetes. How does circuit training help? Why apple cider vinegar is so effective? What about trail mix, fatty fish, and alkaline foods? We'll be talking about all of that and more. Number 1. Fish is no longer fishy. Do not let the name fatty discourage you from eating this fish. In fact, the opposite is true. Fatty fish will help you lose weight and keep your diabetes in check. How, you ask? Fatty fish like sardines, salmon, herring, and mackerel have omega-3 fatty acids. These fatty acids are awesome for your heart's health. People with diabetes are at a huge risk of heart attacks and strokes. So eating fatty fish will get them fatty acids that prevent this. Fatty fish also has compounds that help regulate your blood sugar. They'll also protect cells on the outer lining of your blood vessels. This, in turn, reduces inflammation and improves the functioning of arteries. There was a study where 68 obese adults had their eating habits analyzed. It was found that those who ate fatty fish regularly had significant improvements in their blood sugar levels. This was better for those who ate fatty fish in comparison to those who ate lean fish. And of course, fish is a great source of protein so it keeps you fuller for a longer period and stabilizes your blood sugar levels. This helps you lose weight. How do you like eating fish? As sushi? Maybe in fish and chips? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Do it like the Greeks do. A Mediterranean diet is great if you want to lose weight and lower your risk of diabetes. Research has found that Mediterranean diets reduce the risk of getting diabetes by 21%. And this isn't just from one study. This conclusion was made after analyzing 19 original studies that had more than 162,000 participants. Wondering what you should be eating under the Mediterranean diet? There's no set pattern. You should emphasize on fish, olive oil, fresh fruits and veggies, nuts and beans. Having a glass of red wine with your food isn't bad either. When on the Mediterranean diet, you'll need to avoid refined oils, refined grains, added sugar, and processed meats. This means no white bread, white pasta, cakes, and pastries. No deli meats or hot dogs. Not a bad option, I tell you, if trading these junks gets you a fitter and healthier body. Before you begin worrying about what the Mediterranean diet plan looks like, here's a small glimpse. For breakfast, you can have a pan-fried egg with grilled tomatoes and whole wheat toast or opt for a cup of Greek yogurt with half a cup of fruits like blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Top it off with a serving of walnuts and almonds. Lunch isn't boring either. You can have whole grain pita bread with hummus. Don't forget to eat salad made of greens, cherry tomatoes, and olives. Dress your salad with extra virgin olive oil and vinegar. No good? You can even go for a whole wheat vegetable sandwich. Make the sandwich filling as nutritious as you can by including grilled veggies like zucchini, bell peppers, and eggplant. Dinner can be baked salmon and roasted potatoes and veggies on the side, or whole grain pizza with grilled veggies and low-fat cheese. You see, the Mediterranean diet doesn't mean you can't have fun with your food. Just experiment with different non-processed foods and whole grains. Number 3. Circuit Train if you want to reduce weight as well as lower your risk of diabetes, your best bet is to circuit train. This means not focusing on just one type of exercise. No either or with cardio and strength training. Combine them both. Create a circuit of exercise in a way that has both the elements. A heart pumping cardio session should be followed by a muscle strengthening exercise session. This can melt away your fat and you can keep your blood sugar levels in control. A study found that women who spent at least 150 minutes per week doing cardio and 60 minutes on strength training reduced their diabetes by 33%. This was in comparison to the women who were mostly inactive. Get active and get moving to reduce your weight and diabetes risk. Number 4. Trail mix is the best. There is a particular nutrient that affects your chances of getting diabetes. That nutrient is magnesium. Studies have found that people who get magnesium from foods and supplements could reduce their risk of diabetes by half over the next 20 years. This was in comparison to those who ate the least magnesium. 
experts have found a strong association between magnesium and diabetes. The more magnesium a person ate, their inflammation markers reduced in the same ratio. So did their resistance to insulin. In short, eating more magnesium led to lower insulin resistance. So, what are your best sources of magnesium? Well, there are many. Many foods offer you magnesium. How about you start with dark chocolate and pumpkin seeds first? Tastier option, isn't it? Why not make a healthy trail mix of magnesium-rich foods? Add rich nuts like almonds, walnuts, and Brazil nuts to the trail mix. Toss them in dark chocolate shavings, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Mix in roasted pecans as well. Your healthy trail mix is ready. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might be interested in. Magnesium deficiency is pretty silent. You won't even notice it. Watch this video to learn more about the seven signs of magnesium deficiency. Number five, no peeling, no juicing. Love juicing? It seems to be a healthy choice. You might be drinking apple juice, orange juice, or pineapple juice. You think you're doing the best you can for your body. Only you realize one day that all this juicing wasn't the best choice. Instead of reaching out for a glass of apple juice, eat the whole apple instead. Switch orange juice with eating a whole orange. You'll be lowering your risk of diabetes as well as keeping your waist from expanding. Eating whole fruits gives you fiber that would otherwise be lost in juicing. You get lots of vitamins and minerals without the added sugar you find in store-bought juices. Plus, no other additives like preservatives. A study found that the risk of type 2 diabetes was reduced by up to 23%. This happened with people who ate at least two servings of whole fruits per week. These whole fruits included blueberries, apples, and grapes. This was in comparison to those who ate less than one serving of fruit per month. Now, there were people who drank one or more servings of fruit juice each day. Instead of reducing, they increased their risk of type 2 diabetes by 21%. This effect can be attributed to the fact that fruit juices have a high glycemic index. They pass through your digestive system rapidly in comparison to the fiber-loaded fruits. Number six, more alkaline foods. Eat as much alkaline as you can to keep your body in great shape. Fresh fruits, veggies, and herbal teas are great options. Leafy greens like kale, celery, and spinach are awesome in promoting an alkaline environment in your body. But why is this necessary? It turns out that the acid-promoting diet creates a number of metabolic problems for you. These cause a reduction in insulin sensitivity. You're then likely to get diabetes. So, what are these acid-promoting diets? They're ones that are heavily focused on animal products, junk foods, and processed foods. Number seven, cut out red meat. Sorry folks, you might be in love with steaks, pork chops, and lamb curries, but if you want to stay healthy, you need to cut out red meat. Just half a serving per day can increase your risk of type 2 diabetes by 48%. You can undo this damage by eating healthier lean meats, especially fish. Number eight, stop hating on eggs. Eggs have gotten a lot of bad press in the past, but things have been cleared up in recent years. Eggs now have a superfood reputation. They offer amazing health benefits. For example, they're loaded with protein, so you feel full for longer. Eggs help prevent hunger cravings between meals. There's more to this wonderful food. It reduces your chances of getting diabetes in several ways. They improve insulin sensitivity, decrease inflammation, decrease bad cholesterol, and increase good cholesterol. Amazing, right? Eat eggs for breakfast to manage your blood sugar levels throughout the day. Number nine, apple cider vinegar to the rescue. Apple cider vinegar is great for your blood glucose levels and your waistline. Experts have analyzed six studies that included more than 317 patients with type 2 diabetes. It was found that apple cider vinegar was indeed very helpful in reducing blood sugar levels. Experts suggest you have apple cider vinegar with your meals if it contains carbs. Blood sugar response can be reduced by as much as 20%. Diabetes is a major problem around the world. You can never stop learning about this killer disease. There are foods you should eat to help with it, not to mention warnings you should watch out for. Watch 16 signs your blood sugar is high and eight diabetes symptoms. You can also try 13 foods diabetics should be eating. Go ahead and click one. Better yet, watch both. Did you know about these weight loss tips before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.